Hello everyone, I'm Fluvet and today I will show you a few Baldur's Gate 3 mods but I'll start the video with Baldur's Gate 3 mod console and before I start I want to have a new announcement I want to present you my Patreon so I made the Patreon, this is the link you'll have the link in the description because lots of you guys ask how I can get these mods running without bugs or how I can get that other mod running and so on and different setups so for the latest patch and for the games that I that are on are on my channel uh, you can get help now I can help you remotely on Skype or any desk or whatever and you can uh, review your mods and get fixed suggestions you can review your mods and get them fixed by me or get any mods installed by me so i'll help you directly and uh, yeah you you will not only support this channel but you'll also get help to uh, install and play your favorite mods so that's it for now link in the description below so the first mod of today is mod configuration menu and what this mod does is uh, it's also a requirement now for most of the mods let me see if somebody is in here hello of you on youtube so it's also a requirement on, on twitch anybody has mod configuration menu yet mod so it's a dependency for lots of mods now and i'll show you support mod too that goes with it but it's really good if you want to fine tune your your mods like do the all these options you can do for all your mods so i'll show you right now what it looks like in the game so let me close this so in the game well when you start the game it opens up like this and <clears throat> first of all you have a profile management here and i'll show you how to install this later in the stream or the video if you see the finished video so here you can select the profile but first you have to make it like write a name here the, and hit create the button here and to appear in this list and what this does it saves your settings how you made them here and uh, let's say you install the mod that requires this mod configuration menu and what you need to do is hit this mod configuration menu this those are the settings for each mod and let's close them for now and you have to have this tab open so this arrow down here and i installed the auto send foot to camp because i think it's really useful mod that requires mod configuration menu so here you have the general tab enable mode or disable mod how you want and then you can create this profile and save it how you want to save this setting and at features let me push this here i don't know why it goes transparent sometimes but it does so it features here you have the options of the mod you can move the food to camp chest uh, you can move beverages to camp chest you can move purchase food to camp chest also before you install all these mods please back up your save files i'm not responsible for any of your losses your your lost save files and also like back up with WinRAR or to the to Google Drive or something because it's free and it's safe. And also load the mods into an older autosave to test them first is my suggestion like I'm doing right now. You have move purchase food to camp chest. You can enable or disable. You can select minimum food to keep. And let's say I need I want to keep three food. Maximum rarity to send food. You can select from this list common, uncommon. Or whatever are epic let's say common so you can send all the food to the uh, camp and one i why i think this is useful because the food also encumbers you most of the time so it's good if you if you just send it to camp okay manage exis existing food you can disable and enable whenever whether to send existing food items to inventory search in nested containers whether to search for food you have the description of what this does here below it Below every option, you have the description of the option. Whatever to search to search the food for nested containers inside player inventories. 
whether to create a single supply sack in the camp chest if it doesn't exist. That's a good one to put all the food in one basket, kind of. Set food to supply sack. Okay, ignoring healing items. Yeah, I don't want to send healing items. Ignore weapons. Yeah, I don't want to sell to send weapons. Ignore wares. Uh, to ignore food items marked as wares. Okay. Uh, to ignore items from a user defined item list. So this is how a mod can work with this MCM. So you can close it here. You can also select uh, the key to open this. For now it's insert. And you can select open MCM window on start if you don't want it on the start. Auto resize window, okay. Make the MCM window slightly transparent when not in use. And I'll disable this because I don't like when it goes transparent. Now I can close this. Yeah, right now it's... I don't think it goes transparent anymore. So pretty good. This is how you fix that thing. Dynamic transparency. And now we close it. And let's say we want to open it again and we push this third key or whatever is the key you selected it in here. A modifier. Toggle MCM window modifier option. I don't know what this really means, but whatever. You can play with it and you, you'll see. And then you create this new profile here, this name and create, and it saves all this in your profile and you can close it and play your game like normally. Okay, so this was the mod configuration menu and to install it, you, you have to go to the mod configuration menu, Nexus mod page and for Baldur's, Baldur's Gate and the requirements you have to have is the script extender and you can get the script extender from github here and you can get this one here it downloads it downloaded okay but the easier way is to go to the mod manager and i think you go to tools and download and extract the script extender so it's really easy to install it and you have to have the script extender yeah it's in the files of the root folder you don't see the script extender in here in the mod manager so this how you install well after you download the mod configuration menu from here manual download and download and that's it you click free slow download and I already downloaded it and put it somewhere and then you click file import mod and you have to select the the mod from the mod folder like here click open and it will open here on the right like so and you have to put it you have to put it first in the load order here to work and save order and export order to game and now it will work just click hold and drag here to the the first of the load order to be the first of the load order the first in the list because this this took me a long twitch and youtube this took me a while to understand how to drag this and drop because another mod manager you just double click and it just goes on the activated mods so and i want to show you because i forgot uh, the auto send food to camp in the mod configuration mod video this requires mod configuration menu and volition cabinet so you need to download this one in case you want to install this as well in the uh, with the mod configuration menu mod because i think it's useful and i'll include this in the in the first video mod configuration video so get all those get this and get volition cabinet get this one so that does not does not matter and they just send i showed you what they do they send the food to to camp and you drag and drop from the right to the left you hold and drop here like so volition i think i'll install this first because it's like a dependency then i install the auto send food to camp doesn't matter the load order except this the volition should be first and then send, send food to camp the second save order and export order to game and i think that was it for today so if you like this again give me a like a follow or interact any way you want with the stream so i can make more of this so you can interact in a free way and i'll make more of this 
it's a way to support my channel if this helped you or whatever and if you want more help uh, directly with installing these mods or fixing them for any of the games on my youtube channel for bannerlord for bg3 for what else did i do even for skyrim i didn't show on the channel that much lately but still i'll show it what else any other games on the on the channel you can get suggestions you can get fixes from me or any other custom mods combination of mods you want from my patreon and you also support my channel to make more of these videos so until next time i'm pluvia eterna and i'm out bye bye see you next time